Welcome to our explanation of the quarterly EcoSlide adjustment. If you have not seen the full adjustment video for a new installation, you should watch that one first. As for the quarterly checks, this will be the one that most of our users do by far more often. So this is what happens for ongoing maintenance. Once Eco Slides are installed and you do that first adjustment, you're gonna come back about every three months to check them. We recommend quarterly, although many customers have already switched to doing monthly switch inspections or six week switch inspections and they have usually added Eco Slide as one of those checks. But we as the manufacturer recommend quarterly checks. The other time you'll need to worry about a check is if you do any sort of switch maintenance, most common of course being tamping, but anything that changes the servicing of the switch or even the way things are connected, like let's say you switched out a, one of the connecting rods, these, sor these sort of adjustments to the servicing or the switch mechanisms would cause you to check adjustment again in between the quarterly checks. So to get started, it's gonna be just like a full check we're gonna go down the closed side of the switch. So the closed side of the switch here will start, I'll start in the front and then move back to see what adjustment currently is. And then we'll throw the switch and check the other side. To check adjustment, you'll need to use your filler gauge. The fill, this filler gauge has one millimeter steps to it. The default height for EcoSlide is two millimeters, so that's the second step on this gauge. So what I want to do is go to the closed side of the switch and put the filler gauge down here underneath the switch point and make sure that we're picked up to at least the second step where the rollers are. If it's the in-between ties, it doesn't matter as long as I'm not at zero. So if I'm at the first step or the second step or the third step, if there's no roller there, the adjustment's not important as long as there is some height. So now I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down the side here and check the height first of the rollers and then the in-between ties. So this Eco slide already has two millimeters. I don't need to do anything. Check the other one. This one too is right at two millimeters. I don't know, I don't need to do anything. This is completely normal for a quarterly check. Like I said, you should need to adjust every roller. Now I'm just gonna go down the side and make sure I have some sort of height all the way down. Again, doesn't matter on the in-between ones what that height is as long as it's something. And I do, so this side doesn't need to be adjusted at all. Now we're gonna throw the switch and check the newly closed side. Okay, so this one's actually a little bit higher. It's probably about two and a half millimeters, that's okay. It's still within tolerance. This one needs to be adjusted. So let me see where I'm rubbing. So the back needs some adjustment. It's perfectly normal, but notice we've gone through three of the four rollers and only one of them needs to be adjusted. The first step is to remove the top nut. Note the filler gauge right now is not at all under the switch point. We want to get to that second step. Right now we're at zero. To raise the switch point, we're going to turn the adjustment bolt clockwise as you see here. And after a few turns, you'll see that we get to the first step and then a couple more turns and we'll be safely at the second step. And that's it, the roller is adjusted. All right, and then we're gonna throw the switch a couple times. And that 
that's it. That's a quarterly check. You can see it's very fast just to walk through to check all the rollers. And then in our case, we only had to adjust one, which is completely normal. And our switch is done for three months.